The most important thing mentioned in hadiths is that Imam al-Mahdi salam will fill the earth with justice after it has been previously filled with injustice and oppression. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir salam is reported to have said, when the Mahdi comes, he will distribute resources amongst the people in a just and fair manner. There are more than 100 hadiths on justice during the time of Imam al-Mahdi salam. Justice is what humanity will need as it is the solution and medicine for all problems. Everyone should be working from now on implementing justice, starting from your nafs, your home and your workplace. Piety After the advent of the Imam, there will be an increase in people's piety as they will worship God to a greater extent. This will occur to even those who formerly committed great sins. Those who are not faithful will begin to change and become obedient to God. The Holy Prophet says that one of the things that Imam al-Mahdi does after establishing justice is that he fills the hearts of people with worship of God. Not only will people perform good acts of worship, but they will love doing so. They will love to worship God, perform salah and supplicate, and there will exist no distractions or obstacles for them. Economy Because the world's wealth will be distributed properly, there will be no poverty. There will be so much wealth that there will not be anyone to give zakat to. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir is reported to have said, The Mahdi will distribute everything amongst people in such a way that there will be no need for zakat. Needs of people When Imam al-Mahdi establishes justice, his justice will reach so far that it will also meet the psychological, emotional and spiritual needs of people and even of animals and birds. The Prophet peace be upon him is reported to have said, The inhabitants of the earth, the sky and the birds in the air will be pleased with his leadership. Brotherhood One of the achievements at the time of Imam al-Mahdi is establishment of pure and sincere brotherhood. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir is reported to have said, When the Mahdi comes, sincere and strong brotherhood will also arrive and a brother who needs money will put his hand into the pocket of his brother and his brother will not stop him, as if they are the same person. Freedom Freedom in its negative sense is that one can do whatever they wish without any restrictions. In this sense, religion is deemed a burden on such people because it is something that restricts freedom. This is a very short-sighted view of freedom. Such people are actually not free but are restricted within themselves. If the smallest of changes occurs to their lifestyle, they won't be able to handle it. Such people are weak slaves to their own desires and not truly free. When the Mahdi comes, freedom in its truest form will appear within a person. That is the freedom to resist one's temptations and desires and do what is right. Therefore, freedom is not for one to do whatever he wishes, but it is to do what one should. Imam Ali instructed Imam Hassan, do not to be a servant of anyone. God has created you free. Spread of Islam When Imam al-Mahdi rises, Islam will be expanded as the true religion of God. Imam al-Sadiq is reported to have said, There will not remain any follower of religion except that they declare Islam and admit their faith in God. The Quran Learning the Quran will become a common culture and practice. A hadith states, when the Mahdi rises, he will set up tents for the people who teach Qur'an. But the way they will teach Qur'an is the way God revealed it. The mention of tents in this hadith seems to suggest that the Imam will not wait for any buildings to be set up, but will commence with the teachings and interpretation of the Qur'an immediately, even from tents. 